Hey, ladies and dudes, this is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, a.k.a. Boobop1970. This is my review for a day. And today I have no review, ladies and dudes, but once again, it's time for another quick edition of Boobop1970's most quick videos. And what's today's most quick video of the day? Well, to tell you the truth is, ladies and dudes, I got my cute little special guest here, my old buddy Pumbaa, the guy who came from the Lion King saga. And my good old... My good old buddy Pumba and I are going to tell you about that, um, about like two days ago, I decided to do another Taken fan fiction story. Since I haven't done a Taken fan fiction story for a while, and since the last two years ago, I decided to do some Taken fan fiction stories. But I'm just going to do some stories that's all about Brian and Lenore. But two years later, I just decided to change. Lenore's name into Lenny because I think Lenny is definitely a way better name for uh, Brian Mills's woman instead of Lenore. But remember, ladies and dudes, about Lenore's name, her name is not Lenore St. John. It's Lenny Mills. And we gotta keep it that way so we could do this for Brian Mills, if you know what I mean. And also, ladies and dudes, I will let you know is I will do my last and final Brian and Lenny fan fiction story. And it's going to be one of the most saddest fan fiction stories that I will ever write down. So here it is, ladies and dudes. For what I got in this piece of paper, yeah, you could pause it if you wish. My story is a very sad moment for Brian Mills. And this story is going to be all about that it took place after the events of Taken 3. And Brian Mills is very, very heartbroken and really, really kind of down, beat up, and he's feeling a whole lot of regrets, and he never got a chance to be with his Lenny because he believes that this whole mess is really his fault by not giving Lenny a chance to, you know, gain the relationship that she ever wanted, and all that Lenny ever wanted is to be with her Brian Mills so they could restart their relationship all over again. And Brian Mills felt bad about it, and since he thinks that he let that awful rich man Stewart get away with this, for a very bad crime that that evil, mad, evil, spoiled rich dude had truly committed. So yes, ladies and dudes, I want to make up a really good fan fiction story about when, when Brian and Lane are going to see each other for the very last time, and this final moment between Brian and Lane is going to take place in some type of white wall that's full of nothingness. There's nothing, you know, there's no buildings, no rivers, no mountains, nothing. There's nothing in this wall that full, you know, going outside and inside, I guess. And also about Brian and Lenny's last and final moments when they finally met each other again. They need, they need to talk together for only 30 minutes and 30 minutes only. And also, you know, when Brian's going to talk to Lenny for the final time, um, Brian's finally going to open up his feelings, he's going to open up his heart, and he's going to do the best he can to tell Lenny about so many important things about himself, about her, and their relationship. Their friendship days is over. Being the ex-husband and wife days is finally come to an end. And they are no longer a divorced couple. This is where Brian Mills is finally going to say that he is truly in love with his Lenny. And he will do it in his very own heart. This is going to be one of the most sad stories I will ever write down. Period. For real, if you know what I mean. And also, ladies and dudes, I will let you know about 
taken three. Look what I did in the back. I decided to make up my own credit for this film. And you could pause it if you wish, if you want to look at it for what I wrote down. I will say that Taken 3 is one of the best movies that we got so far in the year 2015. And it's from me, Boobob1907, from Boobob1907's Movie Reviews. I worked really hard on that one, and I did that yesterday. And I will never forgive those stupid movie reviewers for what they've done to this poor movie for bashing it for way too long. Or maybe in the last three and four months ago or something like that. And also, um, one last thing I want to do before I can end this video is I want to do a quick shout out from a good YouTuber of mine who also do taking fan fiction stories like I do is um, I want to do a tribute this video to my friend Ashley aka some enchanted uh, E if I remember right, but I'd rather call her Ashley. Ashley is such a good friend of mine, and I do appreciate for all of her fan fiction stories that she made. Uh, her fan fiction stories is all about Brian and Lenny's relationship, and I really did enjoy all of her stories that she made so far. But she's working on her latest one as we speak. She's working on her own fan fiction story that took place after the events of Taken 3. Or maybe just an ultimate story that came from Taken 3. So uh, I wish her luck on that, and I can't wait to see part 2 of her fan fiction story. And I think that's it for now, so... Yeah, I think that's it for right now for this latest quick video, and uh, join me next time as I do my top 10 best taken moments of all time, and I'll see you guys later along with my old buddy Pumbaa. So, I'll see you guys later. Sayonara.